I think Chelsea came face to face with the realities of life under Mourinho Mark II. It was supposed to be all nice and simple, wave the magic wand and change, go back to the old Chelsea. It doesn't work like that. This was a fairly brutal lesson and proof that they are nowhere near the team they were when Mourinho came nine years ago. What's now the fate of Chelsea in this group, having lost the first game? Well, quite simply, they have to get at least four points from the next two games in, in Bucharest and then in Gelsenkirchen. Otherwise, they are facing a real fight and potentially a repeat of last season's debacle when, of course, they became the first holders to go out in the group phase. Uh, remember last year they started with a draw against Ju Juventus and, and lost their way then. You know, they, even though they beat the, the Minnows from Denmark, they never looked in control of, them, of their destiny. Uh, and so it, it, it turned out, and I think they will now be worrying uh, that a repeat is in the offing. Mourinho looked subdued in the press conference. He took responsibility. Is it just his fault, or has he not really got the players gelling yet? Well, it's a bit of everything. He's a manager. He has to take responsibility. Um, he agreed to sign these players. He agreed to take over this team. He has to lead and guide and, and shape the team and, and the squad. Uh, but also, you have to look at what he's got. And the bricks aren't there to build the wall he's looking to build. As simple as that. There's not enough quality in key areas. They still haven't got a striker who you can trust to put the ball in the back of the net. They still lack a proper defensive midfielder who can really make a difference in big games like this. And it does appear that he's alienated or certainly not as convinced by one matter who was last season, in fact for two seasons, the player of the year. He's hardly getting a look in. Is it a surprise that Chelsea aren't really playing with that swagger? So these young eggs he says he needs to look after, what's, what's the future for them? Well I think they might go back in the incubator for a bit. Um, they're not ready yet. Clearly Van Ginkel is physical but no more than that. Has had a poor start to the season, I think, since the first day. Um, we looked at William today, who's not young, but there's a new, a new face. He didn't really show at all. De Bruyne didn't get on the pitch, nor did Schürrle. They're, they're not right. They're nowhere near right. And they don't, they're not going to improve things overnight. They've got a couple of relatively comfortable games, you would think, in terms of Fulham and Swindon. But then they go to Spurs. Huge, huge test. It's a big test for Mourinho, too. And could he pass that one? He can. But he's certainly not going to pass it easily, and there's no guarantee he will pass it. The history of the man says yes, he'll find a way, he'll get it right. He'll go back to basics maybe, uh, start you know, grinding out results and get the equilibrium back. But it's not that simple, and they're not that good.